at this point is intolerable. People are beyond, uh, they're suffering a lot in Gaza. As the Israel-Hamas war continues to rage on, the number of lives lost has skyrocketed. <laughs> More than 17,000 people in Gaza have been killed. At least 70% of them are women and children. It's a war with no end in sight, and peace seems impossible. I have not heard from any of my sisters or siblings. I have so many nephews and nieces. All my brothers are dead. Kamal Ashur has lost nearly 15 family members as a result of the war, but he's not alone. Other Palestinian Americans losing hope on what they once knew to be called home. There is no hospital to go to. If you have kids who want to go to school, there is no school to go to. There is no home. As Israel widens its offense, civilians continue to seek refuge in neighboring countries. International aid deliveries are also being limited, and the United Nations is quoting this as a humanitarian crisis. All Palestinians are my family. I grieve as if they were all my aunts, uncles, brothers, and sisters, because they are. Many Jewish Americans also criticizing Israel's bombardment of Gaza. Both sides want peace, but their idea of what peace looks like is different. I hope it ends with uh, there being a different government for the Palestinians that cares about their future and not about making war and committing terrorism. And I hope the Israelis can give that government the space it needs to do that so eventually everybody can live side by side in peace. Although community members in Corpus Christi are miles away from the center of the war, the hope is that a peaceful rally will encourage changed minds and hearts for the people of the world.